Yo, how's it going guys? And I'm going to show you how to make notifications like this in Roblox Studio. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is make the UI. So I'm going to make a screen UI. I'll call this um, pop-up. You can call it whatever you want, notification, whatever. And then we're going to put a frame and then we're going to put wherever you wherever you want the text to come up on the screen is where you want to put this. So if you want it at the bottom, you know, at the top, maybe like top left or top right or whatever you want to put it. I'm just going to put it in the middle though. So you're going to position this. It doesn't really matter the size too much. Set the transparency to one. And then in here, we want to make a template like this. We'll say template or a text label. And then we just want to set this up. So I'm going to set background transparency to one. Uh, the font, I'm going to make dank one. I'm going to make the text white, text scaled. Add a little bit of a stroke to it. And then I'm also going to change the size to be 1, 0, 0, 0.2, 0. I'll do 0.3. So just size it to wherever you want it to be, how you want it to look, whatever. And then in the frame, we're going to add a UI list layout. And in here, I'm just going to say fill order vertical. Horizontal is going to be center. Vertical is going to be bottom for me. So you can uh, see how this will look. You can duplicate this a bunch and you'll see that it'll just keep on going up off the screen. And for now, I'm just going to set the text in the template to be nothing. So it's just out of the way of the screen. All right, now I'm going to go into the replicate storage and create a remote event. This one is going to be called display pop-up. You can put this display notification, whatever you want. I'm going to get a bindable event as well. And I'm going to name this one display pop-up bindable. This is so that we can trigger the um, pop-up from either the server or the client. So you don't really need to worry about where it's executing at. You just need to have, you know, the text. All right. So now we're going to go into the server player scripts and put a script into here. I'm going to name this pop-up. You can also name it whatever you want. And let's go ahead and get the tween service, which is going to equal a game get service tween service. We're going to get the replicate storage right there and then we're gonna get the player game dot player dot local player we're gonna get to both the remote and the bindable event so rp display pop-up and then we'll get the pop-up bindable which is gonna equal the same thing but just the one with the bindable after it and then we're gonna go get the pop-up frame which is gonna equal player dot player gy dot i will do wait for child pop up and also do wait for child uh, frame then we're going to get the template which is going to equal pop up frame dot template and we're going to set the size of the template to be zero so that we can tween it like that and then pop-up time, this is going to be how long the pop-up stays on the screen after coming up. So if you put it to one, it'll stay on the screen for one second before fading out and then destroying. All right, so we're going to get the size tween. The info is going to equal tween info dot new. 0.5. We'll say enum dot easing style dot back. Enum dot easing direction dot out. Like that. We're going to go ahead and put a comma here and then we'll say props is going to equal another table which is going to be size is going to equal item 2 dot new one comma zero comma point three comma zero so this is where you put your size for your object your template which you could actually just you know get rid of this and then put the template size there whatever you want to do is it's up to you Okay, and then we need to get the opacity info because we will be changing the transparency on this as well. So we'll get the, another tween info, which is going to be pretty similar, but this one's going to be a sign for the easing style. And then we'll do in for the easing direction. And then we also need to get the props for this, which is just going to equal text transparency it's gonna equal one all right so we're now we're gonna say pop up remote dot on client event connect function this is going to take in the text and then we're gonna say show 
pop up and then we're going to put the text here which we're going to make that function here in a second so don't worry about it and then we're going to get the bindable as well we'll say dot event connect function take in the text and then we're going to show the pop up here as well put in the text as again and that should be it for that so now we want to create the function so function show pop up display text just string we do need to do that but i'll type it out let's say new pop-up is going to equal a template dot or colon clone we'll say new pop-up dot text is going to equal display text new pop-up dot parent is going to equal pop-up frame and then we'll say task dot spawn function i do this so that it doesn't yield um the current thread or whatever so they can continue executing different code if you have different code We'll say tween service create new pop-up. We'll say size tween dot info and then we'll say size tween dot props and then we'll go ahead and play that. And then we're gonna say task dot wait pop-up time. And then we're gonna say local opac opacity tween is gonna equal tween service create a uh, new pop-up and then we'll take in opacity info info and then opacity info dot props and then whenever we're waiting right here is we're just waiting the pop-up time before we actually delete the um the uh, pop-up and then in here we'll just say opacity tween will play this and the reason we're storing this as a variable is so that we can go down here and say opacity tween if I can type we'll say cut opacity tween dot completed connect this to a function and then in here we'll say new pop-up destroy so we're just putting this into a variable so that we can see whenever it is completed so that we can actually destroy it then and um that should be about it for the script but for testing i'm gonna go ahead and go into here i have a, a button over here that i'm gonna take paste this into here and i'll, I'll tell you how it works so in here i just have a of examples that can be used for it and then i just uh, fire the bindable event with a random pop-up text udem2.new that's what that needs to be on line 12 it should be template.size equals udem2.new instead of udem okay this is also messed up sorry about that this should be edem.easingdirection.in i had it as easing style before that is my bad a little bit of errors but that's okay so now you can see Whenever I hit show pop up, it pops up onto the screen and then it slowly fades out after one second. And then if you just do this a bunch, it'll go up and it looks pretty clean in my opinion. And you can actually get pretty creative with how you use this. If you go into the text in here and enable rich text, I think if you enable rich text in here, here I have an example. So you can actually use uh, font like font tags and or not uh, text tags and stuff like that to change the font uh, color you can change a lot of things with it so in here i have added a mark into here which is the font color and i changed the font color to this rgb value right here um it looks a little bit confusing but this is the whole marked thing so i mark it with this color and then i add on this rebirth text here and then i end the mark right there so this mark basically just changes the text to be a pink color so if we just test it out right here so if we get it as you can see you have rebirth it's in pink text which um you can make red for like if there's an error or something so there's cool things you can do like that with this as well um you might have to like you know look up how to use tags like that yeah that's it for this video uh tell me what you guys think in the comments also make sure you join my roblox group and my discord with the links in the description and i will see you guys in the next video